Chapter 7 Ghost in the Townhouse I am adding this chapter to the story because I feel that it has something to do with the real diamond. This incident occurred right after we moved into the townhouse. We didn't notice too much when we first moved in because we were both working and getting settled. But after a couple of weeks, strange things start happening. The house lights flickered every once in a while, so Frank called an electrician to investigate, and he checked out all the wiring and told Frank that he couldn't find anything wrong. The electrician said, that's when the electric company switches grids from time to time to distribute the load, and this would cause a power surge and the lights would flicker. This explanation seemed to make sense. At night we still heard noises and Frank would get his flashlight and gun and go through the house and could find nothing wrong. We started to believe that this house could be haunted. The next day Frank started asking questions about the history of this house. The landlord told Frank that there were no complaints about ghosts from the previous owner or other tenants that lived in the house before us. Things seemed to quiet down in the house for a while. Frank told me that this was probably a friendly ghost who was trying to communicate with us. So the next day, Frank asked me if I would like to go to the casino. I said yes. We had a good time and even won some money. When we arrived home, we noticed that the lights were on, and when we went inside, the house was cold. I asked Frank, did you leave the lights on and forget to turn on the heat? Frank said, no. Since the house was always cold, Frank decided to have the heating system checked, and the worker couldn't find anything wrong and suggested that we change the thermostat. And we did. Again, everything was quiet. Frank decided to find out if anything ever happened in this house. He checked with the neighbors, and one of them told Frank that her grandmother told her that right after the house was built in the 1870s, a married couple lived there for a long time. The wife found out that her husband wanted to leave her for another woman. And when she confronted him about this, he told her that he wanted to split up with her. They were always fighting. Then Frank asked the neighbor what finally happened. She said that the husband wanted the diamond ring back that he gave her because he wanted to give it to his new love. His wife said that the ring was hers and she wasn't going to give it up. Then, after one of their fights, the husband pushed his wife down the steps and she hit her head and was killed instantly. The husband took the diamond ring off of her lifeless finger and gave it to the other woman. This guy was never charged with anything, and the death was ruled an accident. Frank told me what happened and what the na neighbor told him, and we thought that there could be a connection with us, because this couple was about our age, and the diamond ring was the reason that this woman was killed. Frank and I also felt that this ghost picked us because of the real diamond that Frank gave me to let us know that we should never leave each other for someone else. Frank told me that if we would ever split up, I was to keep the real diamond and he would keep the fake one. Frank told me that he was going to take pictures where the woman was killed. So the next day, Frank got out his Polaroid camera and snapped several pictures through the house. As he waited for the pictures to develop, they all came up blank except for one, which had an image on the right side of the print. It looked like a woman dressed in Victorian clothes and she was wearing a hat. Frank showed me the picture and I agreed with him to what he saw. I noticed something else. She was standing showing her left side and I noticed that she had a large diamond ring on her left hand. This was probably the ghost that was haunting the house. Next day, Frank decided to take pictures of the outside of the house. But this time, all the pictures came out since the film 
was new and the other film he used was outdated. Frank examined all the pictures and didn't seem to notice anything wrong. So, when I came home from work, Frank asked me to look at the pictures to see if I could find anything unusual. I did notice something on one of the pictures of the front. It looked like someone was looking out the window next to the steps. Frank said, that is our ghost. It had to be because I was not at home when Frank took these pictures. We go to church a lot and light candles. I told one of the priests about the ghost and asked him to bless our house. The next day our house was blessed and everything was back to normal. The next time I talked to the priest, he told me that the ghost could now rest in peace and cross over to the spirit world because she let us know what really happened to her. I asked Frank to show me the first picture that he took on the outdated film. When we looked at this picture, I noticed that the ring on her finger was gone and the rest of her image was the same. Frank said, our ghost took the ring with her when she crossed over and left her image on the picture behind for us to remember her by. I agreed with Frank's explanation. We lived in the townhouse for over 20 years and there were no more incidents. We moved to another apartment in the same neighborhood where we are living now for over 20 years. I will discuss why we had to move from the townhouse as you read the rest of the story.